Next, a soldier who lost his right arm and both his legs in Afghanistan has taken to the skies today for charity. Andy Reid did a tandem skydive at uh, Netheraven Airfield in Wiltshire to support ABF, the soldiers' charity. Our reporter Tim Cooper was there to watch. 33-year-old Corporal Andy Reid undergoes his pre-jump training. He, along with 43 soldiers from 11th Signal Regiment, are about to jump into the skies of the Wiltshire countryside. Unlike the others, though, Andy is a triple amputee, severely injured in an IED blast in Afghanistan last autumn. He told me why he wanted to do a free-fall skydive. Yeah, I've been down to Neverhaven about five years ago, did a few static line jumps. Uh, due to the weather, we couldn't do the free-fall. So it's good to be here today and be able to do it, and for the soldiers' charity as well. The aim of today's event was to support ABF, the soldiers' charity. When I was in um, St. Louis Hospital, the ABF um, put a ramp at home for me and uh, made my front door more accessible so I could get in the house and get home within about 10 days. So I, I owned quite a lot, really, to be able to get home and in, in my own environment. felt a lot better. Finally, the time comes for Andy to make his way to the plane. Some 14,000 feet later, doors open, it's time to go. Corporal Reed is free-falling with a member of the Tigers, the parachute display team of the Princess of Wales's Royal Regiment. All too soon, the chute is opened and land looms large. Hello. And what's your message, Andy, to uh, any other soldiers watching who've been inspired perhaps by what you've done today? Just get yourself down here and come and do it and do a, do a, do a, do a donation to the soldiers' charity. Get down and do it with the guys here. Well, it's hoped over £12,000 will be raised for ABF, the soldiers' charity, today, and that Andy will act as an inspiration for others to get out there and do something for those that do so much good for so many service personnel. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Netheraven.